Have you heard the term grower versus shower? Do you describe yourself as a grower or a shower? Well, today I'm gonna explain exactly what that is and if there's any scientific evidence behind why somebody might be a grower or a shower. I'm Dr. Rena Malik, urologist and pelvic surgeon. If you're new to my channel, thank you so much for joining me. I appreciate each and every one of you and I hope that you are learning so much and having a great time being a part of our audience. So what is a grower versus a shower? A grower is somebody whose penis tends to expand or extend in length when they go from a flaccid compared to when they are erect. Whereas a shower tends to have very little change in length between the flaccid and erect state. So why exactly does this happen? Well, it's a little bit of genetics and a little bit of environment. Genetics is based on your parents and things that they will pass down to you in your DNA and these things are out of your control and things you can't change. And those things can determine how elastic your tissue is or the makeup of your tissue, meaning how much collagen or flexible types of tissues are actually in the penis. This can also change over the course of your lifetime. Some people will have more flexibility and length when they're younger and that will become less and less as they age. The second part of it is based on environment. So certainly if you are unhealthy, smoking, not having a good diet or being a little bit overweight, that can affect the flexibility of your tissues as well. In fact, being a little bit overweight can make you feel like more of a shower because some of the erect penis may not be as visible because of some excess weight and when you have an erection, you're able to visualize it better. Some things in your environment can change how your penis looks. So that can be things like the room temperature or if you're in cold water, things like stress or even when you're actively exercising. Ultimately, this has nothing to do with how fertile you are, how manly you are, or how well you can satisfy your partner. So has there been any scientific studies on this? Well, in fact, there has. In this study, they took men who had erectile dysfunction and they took 274 men and all of them got what's called an intracavernosal injection. And this is an injection that's used to give men an erection. And they actually measured these men's penile length as they were flaccid and then after they got the injection and they were fully erect. And they looked at the change in length between their flaccid and erect lengths and they found that the median change was about four centimeters or one and a half inches. So they used that as a cutoff. If you were more than four centimeters, you were a grower. And if you were less than four centimeters, you were a shower. And what did they find? They found that 26% or a little bit over a quarter of the group was considered a grower with a mean increasing length of about 5.3 centimeters. The rest were actually showers and their mean changing length was 3.1 centimeters. And they looked to see, was there anything that was predictive of being a grower versus a shower? And what they found was that there was really nothing except for age. So young men tended more often to be growers and they tended to have a longer erect length compared to showers. Again, this is a small group of men, less than 300 men, but this is the only study we have. I think the things to take away from this is that, yes, you are not alone if you are a grower or a shower. There are a number of men who fall into either category. Secondly, there's really no predictor of whether you're going to be a grower or a shower. And also, I think the important thing to realize about this study is that it only looked at men with erectile dysfunction. This may not apply to all men out there. Ultimately, again, being a shower or a grower has no impact on the firmness of your erection, your ability to perform, or your ability to please your partner. The big take home is whether you're a shower or a grower, you are great just the way you are. Stay healthy, stay happy, and always remember to take care of yourself because you're worth it.